Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we're joining the action where we left off last time in Aberystwyth and we're going to be taking a truckload of exciting things uh, from Aberystwyth down to Newport which is meaning we're going to be using this road here. Now I am not going to add that on because I don't need that on. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting the goods from Euro Acres which are the, uh, they're those people if you remember last time uh, where we, hang on, how do we get out? here like this yeah if you remember I said oh no that's gonna be a really really difficult hill to get up and uh, yeah it looks like it is gonna be a difficult hill to get up uh, but that's the only uh, the only goods we can get going to Newport we've committed <laughs> straight out in front of the A class never mind never mind indeed right okie dokie it's not gonna be one of my best drives I'm sure because of the nature of the roads we're gonna have to drive up I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it to be honest with you uh, as I say, apologies for those of you that might have suggested where we're going in the last episode. Uh, unfortunately, with me being away, this is recorded in future, uh, or has been recorded a long time in the past, so that you don't miss out on any content uh, whilst I'm away. So uh, yeah, you might have said, oh, I'd love you to go here. Please don't think I'm ignoring you, because I'm not. Uh, it's just this has been recorded before your comment could possibly have been posted, because the last video wasn't actually out at this point. <laughs> hey, dear me. The joys of going on holiday. It's a lot harder than it needs to be, isn't it? I tell you. I may as well just not bother in future. Oh no, it's a Renault Magnum. Look the other way. Ugh. Terrible truck. I'm not a fan. I don't know if you've kind of gathered that from my previous videos. Righty oh, So, we're going round towards Aberystwyth. Hang on. We're in Aberystwyth. What are you saying? Right. Full steam ahead. So, we want to actually get to the good part, don't we? I mean, this is going to be. It's going to be a disaster. God, taking the racing line in a lorry, who'd have thought? I'm a little bit bored of the man, uh, the MAN, to be perfectly honest with you. I like the truck, I think it's a nice truck to drive, but I do want to drive something else now. But until we actually have that money, can't really do anything, can I? Because, uh, hang on, round we go. Lovely. Yeah, can't really do anything until we've got that money. Right. Because we need to uh, we need to expand the depot, don't we? Hopefully we're going to get some uh, some staff levelling up in this episode. That'd be good. Could do with them levelling up and being able to go longer distances with more cargo. Because that's when the big money starts coming in, isn't it? Right, full steam ahead. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be a disaster. I mean, if it's anything like it looks, it's going to be a really difficult bit of road to get up. But, I mean, to be fair, you must be able to get up there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in Euro lorries, would it? Right, here we go. Oh, no, we're not quite there yet. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at that bridge. It's so picturesque. I mean, that was probably a little bit quick. <laughs> E-acres. What a silly place to be. Oh my god. Oh no, this is going to be awful. Right, we're going to take it wide. Pull over the grass, do you think? Oh no, there's a Renault Magnum behind us as well. Ah, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. Oh, actually, it's a lot wider looking at the mirrors than, than what I thought. But what we are going to do is we're going to take a commemorative photo of the time that Joe tried to drive up a road that was clearly not suitable for lorries. Although this is the good thing, you know, I like bits like this on Euro Truck. Are you meant to, I mean, you must be able to drive up here with a trailer on, because otherwise you, you wouldn't be able to drive up here. Because there'd be no point, you wouldn't be able to make deliveries, you wouldn't be able to pick deliveries up. I'm sure my lorry feels a lot wider than what it is, looking in the mirrors. Ah, mind the tree! I hope we can drive through this tree and it doesn't... Right, okay, yeah, we can drive through the tree. That's good. Ugh. This is brilliant. Do you know what? This might be my, like, hub delivery spot now. Every single delivery is coming to the Euro Acres of Aberystwyth. This is an awesome road. And look, we even managed to keep the trailer on the road that time. Flipping heck. 
What a view! Come on, drop down again, drop down again. Whoa, hey! What a little adventure. I'm assuming this is the Promox people that have put this in, and this is awesome. We need more roads like this, really, don't we? On, uh, on Euro Truck. Okay, perhaps that's a little bit fast for around here. God, why have they built the road like this? Whee! Oh my god, we're practically rallying. Oh, hang on. Are you going to let us in? How do we... Oh, look at that. And even some rusty old gate sounds. Brilliant. I wonder what it is that we're actually transporting them from here. And sheep! Oh my lord, there's a sheep in the road. Right. There we go. We're, uh, yeah, cargo market. And then we are at Aberystwyth at the Euro Acres. And we're going to Newport. There we go. That's where we're going. Newport. It wasn't actually the job I set out to get, but I think the other one must have expired. Come on, proceed to the loading area. Where is this loading area you speak of? Are you having a laugh? Oh, that's ridiculous. Nope, hang on. Right, so we're, we're going down there. What a ridiculous piece of map. Better have a look in that mirror, make sure we're not going to hit anything. No, it would appear not. Oh, hang on, we're going to hit the building. Oh, good lord, that was a little bit fast there. Right, we're not hitting the building. No, I don't want to skip loading the trailer. This is the best bit. I think we're going to crash into the wall. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in the wall at this point. Come on. Oh, look at that. Perfect parking. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, engine off. Let's get loaded. Oh, it's going to be a nighttime drive, isn't it, at this rate? Right, cargo's been loaded. Off we go. Right, what are we transporting? Uh, carrots. Carrots are often grown on mountainsides, aren't they? No, I love it. So we're going to Newport time 5 hours and 17 minutes. Obviously that is not real life. Right, seeing a bit sheeples. Give them a little, little toot. Does the gate open this way? Because I'm going to lose the front end of my lorry if it does. Or does it open the other way? No, it opens this way. What a brilliant road. Obviously, we're not doing any accelerating down this hill at the moment, are we? Because it's, uh, it's all about the brakes. The truck has left the road, or the trailer has left the road. How many carrots have we got on board? This truck can't even get up the hill. I know it's a Bobby Basic spec, isn't it, compared to some of the other specs we could have. I hope the brakes are going to be good enough to stop it on the downhill sections, because this is quite a steep downhill section, isn't it? I mean, this bit isn't actually that bad. It's the bit near the house at the bottom that's the really tight bit, isn't it? Alright, round we go. Just keep that line there. Lovely. Right, round we go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, tree. Oh yeah, we can drive through the tree. It's fine. Mind the cattle grid, breathe in. <laughs> Obviously not the uh, the in-game noise. I do all my own sound effects, you know. Right, hang on. Uh, oh, it's too close. I don't like it. The wall. Oh, dear Lord. Dry stone walls are breathing in all over the country. Right, okay. We've, we've sort of cut you up there, haven't we? Sorry. 
Oh, we've done it. Look at that. We're back on the road, folks. Oh, my goodness me. I'm shaking. Shaking like a leaf. Wait. That bridge. I tell you, I'm surprised that that bridge hasn't collapsed with the, uh, the speed that we've hit it in uh, the past few episodes. Oh, no. This is a disaster. He's starting to get tired. Is there anywhere to sleep on this route? I don't know if there's anywhere to sleep in Aberystwyth. Righty oh so. It's a shame you can't go straight on, that'd be great, because you could go around the back of Tesco's, couldn't you? And you wouldn't have to mess around going through the centre of Aberystwyth. I say the centre, I'm sure Aberystwyth is a little bit bigger than a, a row of houses. So that'd be a great place to put an additional lorry garage in and, uh, and petrol station and stuff like that. There is a lot of traffic, isn't there? A lot of freight traffic through this town. These little villages with massive, great, big, articulated wagons coming through. Oh, don't you start. You'll set me off. Hang on, what's all this? This red in the background here. Oh, that, that's where we've been. I thought that that was sending us up there, if you look on the map on the uh, on the left-hand side. But no, we've, we've already done that, so no need to panic. So we've quite literally come from up there, haven't we? Just literally on that hill, which you can't see. Oh, I like it round here. This was a fantastic idea to come to South Wales. Or, well, we're sort of in mid-Wales, aren't we? The west coast of Wales. I'm hoping this is going to be quite pretty, quite picturesque. I'm not hoping, uh, I'm not imagining that it's going to be any better than the last episode because that was pretty nice, wasn't it? This road seems a little bit more straight, a little bit more, you know, just sort of a bit more everyday style road. There's nowhere to stop. That's just a petrol station. There's no bed at the Tesco. We can't sleep at the Tesco, so we're just going to have to keep going. And if fines come, then, then fines come. We're going to start uh, shutting his eyes in a minute, aren't we? It'll start going dark around the edges of the screen. Come on, truck. Time is of the essence. I hope the carrots don't mind if we have a nap. I don't know how fast they need to be there. We round we go. Probably would have taken out that road sign, but it didn't make a clanging noise, so there's no need to report it, is there? Look at this. Oh, and there's even a bit of super elevation on the road. Oh, a bit of a camber. I love it. Four hours and eight minutes. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be here for half eleven. Driver needs a nap. Oh, what's this in the middle of the road? Oh, it's just a little bit of roadworks, just to keep you on your toes. So that's nice. Up where I live, they'd have just closed the entire road, like closed half of it and put temporary lights on for that. You are getting tired. Oh, I know. Oh, no, the screen, the screen. Look, I'm on the limiter. I've put my foot down as fast as I can. Where are we? Abeneron? I don't know how you say that. It's about right, isn't it? Abenaron? Abenaron? It's probably pronounced Eckelfecken, isn't it? Oh, we've just been past that police officer doing 33 and we didn't get a speeding ticket. That's alright, isn't it? 
Thank you for driving carefully. I can't say I did, but uh, but you're welcome. Oh, any minute now we're going to start getting fines, I can feel it. And then this, this trip won't be worth doing, will it, if we keep getting fines? Oh, oh, someone's going in for the overtake. Someone's going in for the overtake. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, the, the Volvo's going to get hit by a lorry. Oh no, oh, he's given up. <laughs> I mean, we are speeding, but look at that. Oh no, there's going to be a head-on in the mirror. Oh, as a responsible driver, I should not have done that, but hey, that'll teach him. He thought it was going to be stuck behind a slow lorry. Little did he know. <laughs> God, we're whizzing along, aren't we? Right, let's let's break for the break for the roundabout. We. In fact, I think we've left the Volvo behind. Have we left the Volvo behind? Yeah, we have. It's at the side of the road in uh, in a pile of burning rubble. Not rubble, wreckage. The wreckage of his own car for making silly manoeuvres. Where are we? 18 miles for Fishguard. Oh, we should have just dropped off at Fishguard. That would have been so much easier. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Ranger Rover, I wouldn't have pulled out on you, but the fact you weren't indicating in true Range Rover fashion there, you ended up with a lorry pulling out in front. Do you know what? My driving isn't the problem. It's everybody else on the road. That's, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, no, you see, the Range Rover's going in for the overtake now, but I don't think we're going to be able to keep in front of him. No. No, the curse you hill. And he's got an illegal plate, because that is a 71 plate on that Range Rover. And they weren't making that sort of Range Rover in... Oh, no. Avoid sleeping offence. Ugh, I'm trying. Can't I just pull in here? Let's have a look on the map. Where's the, uh, where's the next? There's literally nowhere until there. But then we're practically in Newport, aren't we? Yep, yeah, sorry. Oh, there's oh there's beds there. Right, okay. Is it because the policeman saw us? But he's not Vosa, so surely. We hope that lorry coming the other way stops. Oh, the sheep in the road. Sheep. Heck, yeah, look, they've all escaped. I love how the guy in the high vis is just looking at it like, yes, that is a sheep. Oh, I quite like that Renault. Don't like the Magnum. Did I mention it? But uh, I do like that style of Renault. It's a nice, uh, looks good, doesn't it, at the front? Maybe next we'll buy a Renault. Said nobody ever. Yes, why not? We'll mix it up. We'll have a Renault or an Iveco. Oh, driver George W has made us a grand. Cheers for that, George. That'll just pay off the sleeping fine. Ooh, George W's levelled up. Let's see. I mean, we checked George W last time, didn't we? But uh, driver manager. Let's just make sure that he's not. Oh, right, he's still on ADR training. He's not got all his ADRs yet, so, uh, so that's good. We'll leave him on his ADR training. So that he can drive a wide selection of vehicles. You're getting tired? I know, I know. I'm trying not to be tired. I'm really trying not to get another avoiding sleeping offence. MAN? Oh, it's like me. 
Oh no! You see, I've just clipped that white line on the left there. I, I really am tired, aren't I? Right, here we are, in the little town of something or other. Actually, no, did it say where we were? Welcome to wherever. Right, let's pull in here. This looks like some sort of little hotel. Quick, 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 cut the corner, cut the corner. Oh, it's... it's not, it's a truck park place. Lorries. Right, well, we'll just nip in here. I think we'll go for this one. I don't see anything wrong with that parking. Nope. Perfectly fine. Oh, Simone M. Four grand. Cheers for that, Simone. Oh, and Driver Ahmed as well. Oh, hang on. Why are we not in forward? There we go. Income 1,100 from George W. again. Heck, George W. He's making some right cash, isn't he? I think the loan instalments have gone out as well, haven't they? 3,643 from Henry K. Good lord. Yeah, I thought the loan instalments must have gone out because we made all the, that profit and it went up by a grand. <laughs> so yeah, loan instalments must have gone out. But it's like having free loan instalments, isn't it? Right, well we don't need to drive like hooligans now, do we? Because the loan instalments have gone out. Not because the loan instalments have gone out, you idiot. Because uh, uh, we've had enough sleep. We've got enough fuel. We're all good. Ooh, nice looking Renault going the other way. You see, I do like Renault lorries. Just not all of them. Where are we going? We're going towards Carmarthen. I'm going to plump for this right-hand lane. No, left-hand lane. Right-hand lane? Left-hand lane. This feels right. Even though it's left. Oh, it's a KFC. Lovely. Right, 60 mile an hour because it's a dual carriageway. So we'll... I know we can't do that, but... Uh, It's not glamorous, is it? 30 mile an hour up the hill. Oop, Nissan Squish Squash going past there. at Panda. God, we've been overtaken by absolutely everything, aren't we? That looks like some sort of Peugeot. And a Mini! Oh, I love Minis. Although, if you've seen the new 2023 Mini, that's it's not a good-looking car. I used to really like the shape of the Minis, but yeah, the, the new one it's a bit angular. The, the back end looks weird. Oh, hang on. Hold on. What have we spilled here? I don't know, but I appear to have gone over it fine. powering along. There's a coach behind us as well, who I think very shortly will be in front of us. He's gone for the overtake. That Jaguar just didn't uh, want to risk his paint work there, did he? He went in for the overtake and then when I cut the corner a little bit, he, uh, he very quickly backed out. Flipping heck, aren't you glad that lorries aren't manuals anymore? You think of all the gear changes that are going on. 
on that automatic box. Not to mention you've got your crawler gears. There's, oh, there's far too much. Oh, hang on. You just get back on your own side, Mr. National Express, or whatever you are. Yeah, you, you can go in the outside lane, you know. That's, that's how a two-lane roundabout works. I don't think he got the memo. Back up to 60 and we'll just let the cruise control do it. Treat ourselves. This looks slow, whatever it is. I think we might end up moving into the outside lane just to go round him. There we go. Nobody in the mirrors, that's good. Nobody in the blind spot. Oh no, 50? Oh, sweet child of mine. God, it's typical, isn't it? You don't need to break in front. I'm watching you. Right, we're going round. It's like the most laborious race of all time, isn't it? <laughs> two lorries racing each other, and there's nothing more annoying than this on the motorway when you've got two lorries and one of them is slowly overtaking the next one, and it causes a mass pileup of cars behind. A backlog, not a pileup, a pileup, something completely different. Right, well the good news is, is this chap's hopefully going to move over to the left. That's good, right, I'll move over as well. Should really wait for him to complete his manoeuvre before I move over, but there's, you know, there's, there's cars behind that really want to get going. Oh no, he's winning! Oh, this is a disaster. He's heavier, isn't he, so he can go faster downhill. We could do with a hill. Let's have an uphill section. And if we don't get him to, you know, if we don't get past him soon, we're going to have to turn left up into Newport. Oh no! I can't believe our truck is not powerful enough to keep up with that massive steamroller on the back of a wagon. See, I think that he's in the wrong lane, and in a second he's going to start indicating to come across. And he's either going to, it's, it's, I wonder what the AI is going to do, it's either just going to set off across and I'm going to get hit by him. Any minute now it'll start indicating. Or maybe because I'm here, he'll just go around there. Oh no, he is, he's going around there, fair play to you. Oh, it's a Mercedes Actros, well of course it's brilliant. The Actros is fantastic in every way. Wait, hang on. Nearly. Talk about turning prematurely. Well, I'm going to say that we won that race between the, uh, the lorry and us. Should we just slow down for that average speed malarkey? Yeah, I'm going to say that we won that race because, you know, we're, we're still on the motorway and they're not. And that, to me, counts as a victory. Right, here we are. So, oh, Scania lorry's on the back of the truck. Sorry, Mr. Volvo. I did cut you up there. That's, uh, that is my fault. Oh, we've discovered Newport. Would you look at that? I find it funny that Newport's on this game, but Bristol isn't. Seems like they sort of got the priorities wrong a little bit there. This sort of reminds me of a road in Leeds going out towards Seacroft and York. It's like this dual carriageway with little houses either side. Cut 
cross. We shouldn't really have done that. That were a bit naughty, but uh, there we go. There was nobody about, besides that Volvo that's still probably uh, following us. Oh, no, he's not. He's given up. All right, we're going to cut across and set the racing line because there's nobody down our inside. It just means we don't lose all our speed. Welcome to the city of Newport. Have we gone out of Newport and then back in again? I'm not sure. Oh, we're delivering carrots to Sainsbury's. Oh, I love Sainsbury's. Right, we'll just cut the squish squash up because uh, we don't want to be going left onto the motorway. Eh, how come two lanes couldn't go forward then? The right hand lane for forward, but it's two lanes coming off. That's bizarre. Oh, we're not going to Sainsbury's. That's a disappointment. I wonder if I just rock up at Sainsbury's with some carrots, what they're going to say. You watch. The second I stop, that'll go green. It's always the way. Okay, maybe not. Pleasant change. Right, away we go. Oh, wow, this looks like a right... Oh, there's the Sainsbury's, look. Ooh, Sainsbury's. Big retail part, this, isn't it? Right, so we're, we're going forward here. Yeah, lovely. Oh, wow, Rui. That's a German supermarket. Love going to the Rui when we're in Berlin. Oh, crumbs. It's another place where it's going to be impossible to park. Oh, I see. Anywhere behind gates are usually really, really impossible to park. Oh, we got the music. Our customer expects their delivery soon. Well, don't worry, we're here. What time are we meant to deliver? Oh, wow, what's the music? 11.28. Oh, we've got... Heck, this is frantic, isn't it? I don't think we're going to get round in this yard. That music is very loud. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Oh, we've crashed. Right, let's just bit of that. <sighs> Scraping his trailer down the side of another lorry. This is the you've been too slow music, isn't it? You've been way too slow, and the carrots are all going mouldy. Because of those carrots that go mouldy after, you know. There we go, look at that. Oh, I think I've crashed. Oh, I don't like the music, the music's awful. Normally it would be proper chilled out, wouldn't it, doing this? But it's not, because of the frantic music. It's the, you're going to be late, shoot. There we go, come on, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. There we go, right. E for the engine. Enter for the cargo. Look at that, we got there in time. God, that was, that was really stressful towards the back end of that. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Right, well, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please do show your love and support by clicking that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any Euro Truck Simulator 2 action. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.